The Reshape Tool. The keyboard shortcut for the reshaping tool is the letter H, or the icon can be found in the toolbox under the Pick Tool. When the Reshape Tool is activated, the Reshape Toolbar appears, which enables you to hide or show the reshape nodes, the bezier angles, which are not showing at present, so the icon is greyed out, the Stitch Angle Tool, and the Start and Finish Points. Notice, as with all tool icons, if they are active, the background turns yellow. To activate the Bezier handles, go to the Setup menu and select Options. Under the Reshape tab, select Bezier. For those who are used to the Bezier tools, you may find them handy. They allow you to change the curve on either side of a curved node, and will help to refine the shape without the need to add more nodes. In Embroidery Studio, the Bezier's only work on curved lines. My suggestion, for those who are not used to them, leave them turned off or deactivate them through the Setup Options menu in the Reshape tab. To reshape this object, nodes can be deleted, added or moved. To delete nodes, select either one at a time or drag a box around your selection. Note, when the nodes are selected they turn blue, then hit the delete key on the keyboard. To add nodes, left or right click on the vector line to create an angle or a curve. If you have left clicked when you meant to right click or vice versa, select the node and hit the space bar. To change the angle of stitching, select one end of the angle tool and move it. Notice the angle tool tip will tell you the angle as you move. To change the start and finish points, move the green diamond, the start point, or the red cross, the end point. When selecting the cross, you will find it easier to select a leg of the cross, particularly if it's sitting on a shape node. When dealing with open shapes, in this case a run stitch, the end cross is dotted, indicating that it cannot be moved. The logic is that a line of run stitch must begin at one end or the other, so moving the start point past the halfway point in the run will move the start to the closest end and force the end point to the other. The reshape toolbar also has a stitch edit option. This is only useful if once you have made the changes you save as a machine file. Remember, a machine file consists of many individual stitch points, but the native EMB file is a vector and that is all that is saved, the vector shape and the stitches are regenerated to fill the shape when the file is reopened. So any stitch edit will be lost in an EMB file. In my opinion, unless you're dealing with a manual stitch or machine files, it's futile to stitch edit. My recommendation is to change the shape of the vector. The other icons in the toolbar are to keep or omit the last stitch in a column of stitching. 